Hey friends, it's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette. Hopefully, tech-wise, everything is going right right now. If you would like the link to this um, file, or not file, I'm sorry, the link to this kit, text DIY to the um, number on the screen and I will get that over to you. Also going to drop it into the comments. Um, back up. All right, guys. Um, okay. There we go. I think I can comment. Let me try. Can't post to some destinations. That's okay. We'll post to where we can. All right. So we are doing a sunflower themed tiered tray. And I'm so excited about this. Make sure that you sprinkle to be entered to win um, your own blank cutout. Um, I've got something special up my sleeve. So um, I will be sending out a happy mail prize to someone who uh, sprinkles this video. And I wanted to just show you what we're working with today. We are going to be making these four pieces to replace what is currently on my tier tray. So first we have this adorable Sunflower Market truck. And I don't know if you can tell, but everything is 3D. Okay, we've got this big sunflower which has a waffle weave pattern in the middle. We have this mason jar with sunflower bouquet. And then we have this little sunflower right here. So we're only gonna use a few different colors of paint today and I'm going to mix them um, all right here on my paper. So let me work on the first one first. First thing is we're gonna work on this set. So I'm gonna move everything else out of the way so that we have plenty of room to work. Okay, so this is what we've got. I am gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab, that's the wrong one. Let's see, okay. King's gold, and that is an apple barrel color, and antique gold, which is a deco art color. I'm also going to get this, um, what is this color called? English ivy green. This is an apple barrel color. And then I also want, there we go. I also want this, um, just a white and burnt umber. So these are the main colors that we're gonna be using today. The first thing that we're gonna do though is, I don't know if you can tell, but these letters are all inside of this box. So I made a box and my letters are inside of there. And I didn't pop them out. I actually, they're taped down on the back so that they're super easy to paint. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Posca pen. And if you don't know what a Posca pen is, they are like the Cadillac of paint markers. And I'm just gonna paint my letters. Now, the, it's super awesome leaving these letters attached like this because it makes them so fast to paint but you have to be very, very careful because they are super fragile and that when you pop them out, you don't break any of them. If you do, then you have to use a little bit of super glue and um, just kind of put them back. Hello, Miss Diana. Hello, Tanya. Thank y'all for joining me. I'm just gonna paint all of these. Oh. So this won't take us, you know how usually if you have all these little bitty letters, you have to um, attach them. Hello, Miss Kelly. And try to paint them one by one and then they get everywhere. So this just makes it super easy. Um, I learned this trick from my friend Amy over at Lulu Bean Designs. And you could also just use regular paint if you don't have paint markers. But I'm just, Kind of roughly painting all of these. I think I forgot a toothpick. I knew I was going to forget something. Okay. All right. So I've got I've got those done, and then um, we're going to go ahead and and then put this right there so you can see it. I'm going to grab a toothpick very quickly. Okay, 
so I grabbed a toothpick and I also am going to get this um, whispering turquoise color. All right. Now, I want to talk to y'all for just a second about this. Um, this is marker board and chalkboard. And with this whole set of four, the three white pieces are all cut on this marker board so that you don't have to paint it white. Because, you know, one of the um, hardest things is you usually spend most of your time painting all of the white over and over and over again. So this is already done for you. I etched this one so you can see exactly where to place your letters in your truck. Um, so it makes it super easy. Okay, so let me show y'all how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take these off. These are my hubcaps that go inside my truck right there. And I didn't wanna lose those. Now I'm gonna gently, very gently, and using my toothpick, kind of pop these letters out one by one. I'm gonna just kind of fall down onto that tape. I'll show you in just a second how that looks. And then um, that S didn't didn't fall out. Oh, there it goes. You want to be very careful because, like I said, these letters they are super super delicate. But look how quickly those painted up. They're already dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down too. So. Let's see, the M didn't come. There it goes. All right, so I've got all of my letters, and we will glue those down in just a second. For now, we're going to work on our truck. So the truck has all of these little details already etched into it. Let me remove that banner in just a second. Okay, there we go. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint it a solid color. I am going to go with Whispering Turquoise. And I'm going to grab just a plain flat brush. This is a 5 8. That is trash. Okay, so just got a little bit of paint here. And I'm just going to a quick coat on. I'm not worried about covering up the wheels or the tires um, just because we're going to paint those black and that's easy to cover up. So right now, I'm just putting a quick coat all over my truck. And I um, you don't have to get super great coverage because you kind of want it to look vintage. Now I did this truck just slightly darker, but I'm, I went a little bit lighter with this one. All right, so there's that one. And then while we're at it, while we have this Whispering Turquoise color out, we're gonna grab the mason jar from this sign and I'm going to grab a little bit of white put on my plate so now we've got whispering turquoise and we have white and we are going to paint our mason jar we're going to try our very best to paint as many of the pieces as we can at the same time so that the set doesn't take any time for us to whip out I'm just going to Cover it. Now you could use the tape and tape it down. You could grab that tape. Um, here's my pieces. After I pull these letters off. As my trimmer is really bad today, so I apologize um, for that. Uh, it was really this morning, man, I was trying to paint and it was like, oh, it's terrible. But it is what it is. All right, so now I'm going to use this tape. I'm pull these pieces off. These are trash. Put this down and then that way we will kind of stabilize our mason jar for the second coat. Put my second coat on there. And then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna dip just one little bit of my brush into this white. 
and I'm just going to kind of smooth that into this one side. So this one side is slightly lighter. All we want is that one side to be slightly lighter. So it's kind of white, just right along this edge. I'm going to get some of that off. Smooth the rest of that out. And then we're going to do another coat on the truck. Flip it around. Okay. Now, I am including um, in this set, I am including your hubcaps. I'm going to put them right here. And you do have your window. But thank you so much, Miss Laura. You do have your window if you wanted to paint that. I'm not going to paint this part. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. And what's next? Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and start gluing down our Sunflower Market letters. So I've just got super glue. I'm going to move these letters down a little bit. And I'm just going to put just a, just a small dab of glue where each one of these letters go. I'm not going to be super specific because it's going to grab a hold. So I just did the Sunflower. Screw that back on. And I'm going to just kind of slide these into place. And you can use your toothpick if you want to, to kind of move them and edge them exactly where they need to go. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty shaky today, so I'm having to use that so I don't move the whole thing. So right here, you're just going to wear the... Sunflower Market letters were etched. You're just going to put them right there in those spots. When I first did this set this morning, um, the letters weren't etched on. And I thought, you know what? It would be so much easier if they were etched. So I recut and etched the... Um, the, the white marker board. But I love this really fun font. Just simple market. All right, now let's do these. So same thing, just going to pull these letters right off of my tape and push those into place. So what's everybody doing today? Are y'all all joining us for the craft-a-thon? Or are you just jumping in? Laura, that is awesome. You know, my husband is 6'3", and one year I grew mammoth sunflowers, and they were way taller than him. And I made him come out back and take a picture holding his hand, like, way up in the air so that I would always remember how tall those sunflowers were. I don't know that they got as tall as the eaves of the house. That's crazy, but I love sunflowers. Okay, so there is that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm kind of gonna grab my um, toothpick and I've got some paint, I don't know if you can see, but I've got some paint right down in here. I'm just gonna get some of that paint out. It out. Yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty funny. He didn't necessarily like posing with sunflowers, but he did it. He was a good sport. Okay, so I've got all the paint out of those holes. 
And now I'm going to get the paint out of, we're going to use our toothpick and these scored lines on our mason jar. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use this and get it those paint line or paint lines. Clean that out. That way you don't have to go back and oh sorry. There you go. You don't have to go back and accent that with like a marker or anything. Those lines are already there. Same thing on the top. I'm just going to get those score lines and kind of rescore them with my toothpick. Now, you could have done this as soon as you painted it, but it's actually a little bit easier if you let the paint start to dry to get it to get it all out. You see that? Okay, so I've got those two pieces done. I'll go ahead and glue our truck down. Oh, I think this one, there it goes. I'm gonna say. I've got a whole bunch. I went yesterday and stocked up on super glue. So I've got like 90 glue containers sitting on my, my paint table right now. All right, we're gonna leave that for just a second. I'm gonna grab the um, sunflower pieces, which I don't have. Okay, here they are. Okay, so I've got two. These are gonna go in the back of the truck and I'm actually gonna use my paint pen. I've got a green paint pen. I'm gonna use my green paint pen and just color these in. And we're gonna do all of our sunflowers at the same time. So we're kind of getting all of the other stuff done and then we'll come back and do all of our sunflowers. Okay. So let me go ahead and drop some glue on here. We're gonna just set that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That didn't, that didn't set. Hold that down for a second. Put this one on here. Let's see. There we go. That um, piece must have been just slightly bowed. All right, so I'm going to show you where we're at. So far, we have our truck painted. I'm going to paint my tires with my black Posca. Which makes it really easy. Is the weather nice where you are today? You'll have to let me know where you are and what the weather's like. It's so pretty here. It's like 72. It's so nice. Okay, there's those. And then I'm going to grab, I do have, um, I don't have my gray pasta. I I didn't bring it over. All right, so I'm going to mix a little bit of white and black and make a gray very quickly. I've already got some of the paint in here. So I'm just going to open this up and onto my plate. I'm going to do a dab of that and a dab of that. And then mix that. That's actually a little bit too dark. So let me grab a little bit more white. There, that's better. Okay. And then I'm going to paint these two hubcaps. All right, so those are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my flower, this one. And since that's the only other thing that we're gonna paint green, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Posca to do it. If you don't have a Posca though, this um, English Ivy is a really good color. 
this Posca pin color, let me see if I can tell you what it is. It says khaki green, it's really pretty. Got that. This is the next part that this is where this will go. In case you were like, well, where did that piece come from? That piece is going to go on here to make this sweet little tag. All right. I think everything else that we have to do is the sunflowers. So I'm going to move these pieces off to the side. And I'm going to grab my King's Gold, my Antique Gold, and I've got my Burnt Umber. Take these off. These are still on their little sticky paper or tape. So just going to use my other sticky pieces of tape. And we're going to go ahead and reduce these other sunflower pieces. I've got these are my middles. And I've got one more set right here. Move these kind of front and center for you. So these are the other two. And there's my other sunflower piece. Okay, so that's what we're working on. I'll go ahead and set these up here so you can see. We are going to do our big sunflower as well so that we kind of are using all the same colors at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece on, though, so it's not just kind of floating out here. Lose it. There we go. Okay. And let me drop glue right here for those hubcaps. I mean, I'm kind of cleaning up a little bit as we go. I'm not the best cleaner upper. Anybody else out there? Hello, Miss Karen. Anybody else, like, make a ginormous mess when you craft? Okay, set that off to the side. Set that one. Let's see, where can y'all see that? You can see it right there. All right, so I'm going to start with my burnt umber. Actually, I've got a bunch of it in here, so let me just do that. And then we'll mix it right onto this plate. So I have um, burnt umber and white. I'm going to grab both of those. And then I also want to, I need more white. I want a little bit of black. And yes, friends, I'm just using my paintbrush and I'm putting all these colors right here on my plate from in here so that I can just kind of mix on here. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of see about where that's at, and if I had a pencil, I would trace it out. But since I don't have a pencil, I'm just gonna kind of paint this center. Need more. And this is just kind of a lighter brown that has some black in it. Kind of a chocolatey with a almost like a gray undertone. All right. Got all that done. Now I do want to kind of look, is that going to cover? Yep, that's going to be perfect. All right, just wanted to make sure that was going to cover that inside. Now I am going to grab some straight burnt umber, dab some of it off of my brush, and we're just going to kind of texturize using like a stipple action, just so that it has just a little bit of texture under there. Up and down. 
You could let your paint dry underneath if you want to, but I am just, y'all can see, I'm just kind of up and down. You're not gonna see this up close because it's gonna be under that waffle weave, but I just want it to have some texture under that waffle weave. And you can go right up to that edge. Okay, so now that we have some texture on that waffle weave or on the underneath, I'm gonna paint our waffle weave. Just got all this paint that was already in my brush. I'm just kind of brushing this on. I want this to be slightly darker than the middle or lighter. You can kind of do it reverse if you want to. You could go darker and then have the waffle weave on top lighter. I want mine to be the opposite. So I'm kind of grabbing some burnt umber, mixing a little bit of black with it. I'm going to let that dry for just a second. brush this color on. So that is just burnt ember, a little bit of black. Okay, so had that part done, that is gonna sit right on top of there when we are done with our sunflower. I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna brush just some of this brown right onto these middle pieces, just using what's left on my plate. Don't need much at all. We'll come back and add a little bit of texture to that once we get the um, sunflower gold yellow colors on our plate. Okay, I'm going to grab some white mixed in with there, and that's going to be my top waffle weave. Okay, can y'all see that? You've got like the lighter waffle weave, and then we've got our darker, and now we just have our sunflower parts to paint. So I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I don't want to use those. Actually, we're going to stick with the same size brush for just a minute. And we'll pull some of that non-dry paint from that middle. We're going to actually kind of pull that while we paint this first coat. So you know how I told you it was okay if you went all the way to that edge? It's because we're going to pull some of that brown right down into our sunflower yellow. Let it get a little bit too dry. So we might have to go back and pull some more. That's how we're going to get some of that. If you can kind of see, but that's how we're going to get some of that um, you know, more realistic lines on our petals. We're going to get it a couple different ways, but that's kind of going to be the start. I'm just going to work my way around, pulling some of that brown down into my petals. I don't want you to worry about our sweet little circle in the middle getting messed up. Can y'all see? It's okay. In fact, I'm going to grab some of this brown. I'm going to go right around the edge, straight up and down. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull that down into my petals. Don't want to completely lose, lose that. Can y'all see that? 
Hello, Miss Roxana. How are you? Thank you, Pam. Okay, so we have gone all the way around and you can see, yes, our middle looks a little bit messed up. Don't worry about that, okay? What, now we're working on our petals and then we're gonna go back and touch up that middle just a little bit before we drop the waffle weave on it, okay? So that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna grab a smaller, um, what do you call this? Goodness, an angled brush. And I'm gonna put some of this King's Gold and white onto my plate. Thank you, Miss Roxana. And I'm gonna make sure that on one side, I'm gonna do the same thing to all, all the way around to these big petals. So all, it's like every other petal is a front petal. And we're just gonna kind of accent those front petals with the um, darker, and I kind of blend it. We just want these to have a little bit brighter color. So I've got white on one side and I've got the um, King's Gold on the other. Offload my brush real quick. We're just kind of making it in the shape of the petal. Can y'all see that? We're gonna go all the way around that way. Well, hello, Miss Stephanie, how are you? Let's see. All right, y'all see, we're going all the way around the same way. Got it, King's Gold on one side of my brush and white on the other. And I'm just making those front petals pop. You're so sweet, Stephanie. I, I love what I do. Love what I do. So we're just going all the way around. Now, we are spending a lot of time on this one sunflower, but we're not gonna spend as much time on the smaller ones, but we will still get a little bit of the variation in color. But you can see each one of these petals looks slightly different. If you get too much white, too much King's Gold, you can dip in again, tone it down. All right, this is our last petal. We're gonna play with, and now we're gonna go back and we're gonna mess with that middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I didn't wash my brush. I just went straight into this um, burnt umber and I'm just kind of stipple brushing all the way around so that right around that edge it's now just kind of smudged looking and it it's just the brown so we're going to go all the way around that same way I'm just kind of bringing my brush um, toward the middle. Can you all see? I'm just kind of bringing it toward the middle and kind of offloading. It's kind of mixing with the yellow in some places. And so I'm bringing some of those that stippling down into the main part. 
because let me show you when we put this waffle weave over the top you're still going to see through there you're going to see all of that texture underneath okay so i'm going to let this dry going to set it off to the side i'm all done with that sunflower i'm going to set my waffle weave part over there and now we're going to work on these smaller sunflowers i'm going to offload my brush offload just means get most of the paint off I'm gonna go back into my King's Gold and my white. And this time we don't have to worry about that center because we are gonna cover it up with these 3D pieces. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kind of play, but I'm dragging my brush and I'm kind of making each petal because I'm pulling my brush like this toward the middle. So I'm making each one of those petals have a little bit of definition the same way that I did on the big one by having those two colors on my brush. So I'm just gonna go all the way around doing that same thing. And then I'll come back and I'll kind of blend that in a minute with a smaller brush. So I didn't have a an angled brush that was quite small enough to get that detail. Offload that and get this darker. But all we want is a little bit of definition for those petals. Now I'm going to come back the other way. I hope y'all like the sunflower theme. I, I thought it was um, a really fun theme to go with. Now that we're all starting to think about summer break. Okay, I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like. We're gonna set that, that center right on top of there. We've got just a little bit of definition on our petals. And then we will just glue those pieces into place. Okay, these three right here. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and we are going to do kind of the same thing. We're just going to try to get a little bit of definition on our petals. This time I'm going to go from the center out and I'm going to do one petal at a time. So they're kind of rounded. And just remember, your centers are going to be covered up, so the center doesn't matter as much. We do want to get each one of these petals to look separate. And we're doing that just by making each petal individual, dipping our brush, and can kind of see right there and then you'll see when we go to put this piece over the top of it that middle is going to be pretty much covered up so what I'm going to do in the middle of these is I'm actually going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of brown and we're going to just kind of dab put that back on there so it doesn't move around we're just going to kind of dab just right on that one side, just so it looks like it has a little bit of light hitting it. If y'all can see on here how we did that, but there's a little bit of light. It's almost like the light's hitting it right here. Same thing as the light's hitting right here. Okay, so let's do these others. Same thing, I'm gonna grab these, this King's Gold, some brown, and then we're gonna do all these little individual petals. And you can skip if you want to. You could do like all of your back petals, which would be every other. And then you could lighten and come back and do your front petals. However you want to do it. Whatever makes sense to you. 
whatever feels like it's going to give you the best desired effect. Okay, there. Try to, I'm trying to kind of show you those, ooh, there you go, those details so that you can kind of see that you still have a little bit of definition on your flowers. Now, this one is going to be hard. This is going to be the last one that I'm going to try to actually make petals for because they're getting so small that the brushes that I have are not going to make these super fine details. All right, I'm gonna lighten it up. Go back in. Okay, so then these last two little sunflowers right here, guys, I'm literally putting some paint on there. I'm gonna make one slightly darker than the other just so that there is a little bit of color variation. Then we are going to stipple in the middle of these sunflower rounds. I'm going to stipple kind of the whole thing. And we're going to start gluing these pieces together. Let's set that off to the side. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure that once I start, I will remember. All right, let's see if we have enough glue in here to get these this project finished or if I need to open another one. Nope, I think I'm going to have to open another one. Okay. Let me set that down. Right there. I'm going to let that sit for just a second and grab another glue. I buy, I'm telling y'all, I buy this glue in bulk. I've got nine packs of 10 sitting here. Okay. okay. And we're just going to start gluing all of our pieces down. So I'm going to put glue on the back of my waffle weave part of my sunflower. I didn't puncture. Put this back on. Puncture that really quickly. Ooh. Gently squeeze this or twist this back on. Get it lined up. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the back of here. Just in a few spots, and then I'm going to set it down. Oh, didn't get that exactly right. I'm going to put that right there. Now, I didn't quite, when I went back around, I need to go back in there and, and touch up where um, I brought my petals in too far. But that's not a big deal. I'm going to hold this down for just a second. And I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these other little pieces on with my other hand. Okay, that should be good. All right, so those little flowers are done. I'm going to do these two. And then I'm going to do this one. Got the bottom part, and I'm going to put the glue right on that piece. Set my waffle weave on top. Okay, so we've got all of those. I'm going to touch this up real quick while we're thinking about it, talking about it. I'm just going to use a really small brush. And I'm going to grab my plate and I'm just going to go up and down right inside of there. Just in those little squares where 
I needed a little bit more brown coverage. I'm just only going to take us a second. Now, when I, um, when I did mine earlier, I had a pencil and I actually drew that line in so I knew how far to go. I just didn't have it at my paint table today when I sat down. Okay, so there's that. You can see the texture underneath. You can see all of our sweet little petals. And now we're going to start gluing these other pieces on. So this piece goes on here. And there's actually a little notch. It's kind of hard to see, but it's going to just kind of sit right up against that little notch. So I'm going to glue that down. I can find my glue. There it is. So just a little bit of glue back there. And set that like that. Now, I did get some glue over spill, so I'm going to wipe that up real quick. Okay, we're going to let that sit for just a minute. Now, this one right here is the hardest piece to put together. It is truly like a puzzle because you have these three sunflowers, which here's a quick tip. The small one goes at the top. And then these two are the same, but you have to figure out, just, you have to just kind of play around with them and see where they fit together. See, I almost got it, I think. Oh, one more, let me twist one more time. Nope. Y'all should have seen me earlier. I was like, okay, so I know these go together, but they don't, um, they don't go together super easily. All right, so there's how that's gonna go. So I'm gonna just lift one of these at a time and put glue underneath. And I'm gonna hold it down. And I'm gonna do this one. Hold it down. And I'm gonna do this one. Same thing, I kind of figure out where it sits. There we go. All right, so there's those three pieces in there. And I'm gonna let that sit for a second and then I'm gonna show you how to do this super fun little tag thing, whatever you want to call it. So let's do these last two little sunflowers. I'm going to glue these into the back of the truck. Just a dab of glue each of those spots. These also have that little notch, so they're easy to line up. Look how cute! Can you see how cute that is? Okay, so I'm gonna set this one up here. Those, that part is done. This part is almost done. These are done. You see these? These are done. Now, let me just see if this is all dried. Okay, so we are gonna go from the back to the front. Where's my ribbon? All right, I've got three pieces of ribbon. Um, they're kind of burlap-y. One has a burlap with a black polka dot, one with a white polka dot, and then this was kind of twisted, which I actually, the more I've been playing with it, the more I've pulled it apart. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of these um, with the polka dot up on each side, and then I'm gonna just set this piece on here. And they're 15 inches. I'm going to grab a paintbrush and let me think. I got to think how this goes. So from the front to the back. So I'm going to just take this. I'm going to stick the 
ribbon right there and I'm gonna push from the front to the back and I'm gonna push that loop, that loop right through. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Then I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna separate that loop and I'm gonna push all of this through. Push that through. And then I'm just gonna kind of wiggle wiggle it down and so it, it gets real tight right there and then I'm going to just kind of separate these you can cut them down if you want them a little bit shorter I'm going to twist them so all my polka dots are kind of facing the right way just twisting I'm separating and yes I'm going to trim those just slightly so I don't want them quite that tall Okay, so there is that last piece. So let me show y'all what all four of these pieces look like. Unclutter my table. All right, so here we go. We've got our first piece right there. As you can see, that was our original. This is our new one. We've got this one that we did right there. We've got this one, which is our mason jar, our fun little tag. And then last but not least, we have our sunflower. So I hope that you all liked this project. If you would like a kit to be able to make your own, you can check out the link that I posted in the comments. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your night. I think that Leanne is up next, so make sure y'all head over and watch Leanne and give her lots of love tonight. And Erica, thank you so much for starting us off today. And tomorrow, friends, the ladies will be back with more craft tutorials and fun projects for you. So I hope y'all have a great night. Bye, friends.